Hi there, it's Paul Christopher at GetTheBlender.com. Let's see how requirements management can be five times easier with the Blender. All right. Here we have three requirements in red. Our requirements are associated to roles and tasks. We've also assigned a solution to each requirement, as you can see. So the question is, what solution should we buy? Okay. To answer that, we're going to do a leverage analysis. Leverage analysis is simply taking the solution benefit and is dividing it by the solution cost. The biggest ratio is the one we want. We'll do this manually first, and we'll see how long that takes. And after that, we'll see how much easier it is using the blender. OK? Great. So let's try it manually first. Let's put our requirements up here. We'll zoom out a little bit. OK. That's good. And we'll put our stopwatch here, right there. Now let's go find our spreadsheet, the manual spreadsheet. Great, and that's going to be down here. All right, we're simply going to copy and paste. All right, and ready, go. So we'll take our cashier, copy, and put the cashier here. We'll take our task. Put that here. I'm trying to go quick. Oops, that was a mistake. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. And the effort is two. We'll just type that in. That's faster, right? And the requirement is the ability to tell if a guest has entered the store. So we'll put that there. All right, the benefit is one out of nine. I didn't explain before, so the effort is one out of nine. So we're saying that greet guests is almost perfectly easy. OK, uh, to the solution. Solution, automatic bell on the door. OK, relative cost of that is probably about a three out of nine. All right, that gives us a leverage of 0.33. Great, let's do the next two. The barista. And receives an order cards from the cashier. Good. Effort there is a three out of nine. And the requirement to reduce the effort would be the ability to get the order card from the cashier without walking over there. All right. Great. And the benefit in effort points would be two. The solution we thought up is a zip line for order cards. And that goes there. Great. And the relative cost for the zip line is about a three. OK, last one. We can copy barista. And we can just say make beverage, beverages. OK, and the relative effort there, six out of 10. OK, so it seems pretty difficult right now. The requirement is the ability to make coffee twice as fast. OK, good. Oops. And what's the benefit? A three out of nine. So the benefit goes there. And the solution is another coffee maker. Great. Assuming they have one right now. And the relative cost is a 5 out of 9. These are expensive coffee makers. OK, looks like 0.67 is our biggest leverage. So we're done. And a zip line for order cards is what we should buy. OK, so that was 2.54 seconds, which is 174 seconds. Remember that. OK, 174. So next. Let's do this using the Blender, and let's see if it's any easier. Okay.
All right, so let's put this away and let's go find our Blender app spreadsheet. There it is. Okay, so there, there are two tabs we're going to use. There's the data tab and sheet four, and it looks pretty much the same. Okay, all right, so we've got our content up here. We've got our Blender app spreadsheet down here. Let's go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go up to our content and select all. Then we are going to right-click, copy. We go down to our Blender app spreadsheet, and we're going to paste. Okay, and then we're going to go over to our sheet four, and we're going to refresh. And it looks like 0.67 zip line, and we're done. Okay, and that was 34 seconds. Remember that. All righty, so let's see. 174 divided by 34. We'll just put that right up here. Equals 174 divided by 34, and that's 5.1 one, two, which is just over five times. So using the blender is five times easier than manually managing requirements for our example here. All right, thank you very much.